Welcome to another AFNI Academy video. Today we'll be doing some hands-on things with uh, atlases. So uh, let's get started with uh, by opening up a terminal like I have here and uh, let's change into our a bin directory. This is the directory where AFNI is installed. And if I look at this directory, I can see all the atlases that are that come with AFNI by typing ls star dot head and star dot gz. We have two kinds, either an AFNI format or a nifty format. And these are the ones that are provided. Now if we look at this list, we'll see a few different things. Some of these start with MNI, some of them start with MNIA, some start with TT, uh, we have a couple others too. Uh, if it starts with MNI and not MNIA, then that is in some sort of MNI space. If it's an MNI A, that's in MNI and NAT space. And if it starts with TT, that's in Telerac, Telerac Tourneau space. That's our just, just our convention. Uh, others, even if they don't start with it, could be in MNI space, like this BN, which is the Brain Netome Atlas. That's in a kind of a, uh, MNI space also. Uh, we can see what spaces are associated as far as AFNI is concerned with 3D info. Uh, and let's type a few different options on the 3D info command, 3D info dash space to give us the space and find out is it an atlas with uh, is atlas. And then we'll have it show us the prefix of the data set. And then we'll just uh, use the same things that we had here. And copy and paste that, and uh, we'll see what what these different data sets are. So you can see all the different uh, data sets, some information about them. So we know that this one is in Haskins Pediatric Space. Uh, we have the MNI space, and if it's marked with a one, it's an atlas. If it's marked with a zero, it's a it's a template. There are no labels associated with with that data set. So uh, we can pick any one of these. We could pick, uh, let's say, this this one, and uh, do 3D info on that. And here we can say uh, we may want the label table. So I hit the tab complete to give me the choices of things that the options that start with label. And uh, and these will show me all the labels that are in that atlas. So that's one of the ways that la labels are stored in atlases. I can also change that and uh, change it to Atlas points. And that's this is another way. And here we have all the labels that are associated with that Atlas, uh, along with its uh, uh, center of gravity, the uh, center point associated with each region. So these are the things that AFNI uses internally to be able to tell, tell where a uh, coordinate is. Uh, if we want to look to see how Af AFNI uh, configures atlases, it's all configured in one place, in one text file called AFNI Atlas Spaces .nimmel. And we can look at that. It's just a text file. So this is almost everything that At AFNI knows about atlases. So I'll just do less on that. You can do uh, uh, open it with an editor or cat it or, or whatever, however you want to look at a text file. I'll just do less. And uh, so this is, uh, this def starts out with definitions of what spaces are available. Just as in the previous video, I, I talked about what spaces and atlases and templates are. AFNI also has to know what the spaces and templates and, uh, and spaces, templates and atlases are too. So uh, so let's go through some of the things here. Uh, so it starts out with uh, a, what the what some spaces are. These the first space listed is the ridge space. That's the native space of the subject. So when you acquire data, it's in the ridge space. Um, the 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 next one is uh, uh, one of the Telerac spaces. This is the space that. Uh, associated with the N27 data set in Talarac space. Uh, this was transformed from the MNI version of that N27 data set by a manual transformation. So that uses a 12-piece transformation. Uh, 
and then there are other Talarac type of spaces, TT average, and then below that we have MNI spaces, we have the MNI in that space, we have different names for that, MNI A, uh, we have MNI for SBM, MNI for FSL, MNI other, we have the Haskins pediatric space. So uh, this is all a kind of a very flexible system for different kinds of spaces. If you have a new data set, a new space, a new kind of species or a new uh, group, you can define a new space for that too. And along with those spaces, you can define transformations among the different spaces. So uh, one simple transformation is uh, from the N27, uh, TTN27 space to the Talarac space. That's just an identity transformation because it's, it's the Talarac space is just a generic form of that TTN27 space. So we'll just call that identity. But we have other more complicated spaces. Uh, for example, how to go from the TT average space to the MNI space. This uses a two-piece transformation called the Brett transform. Um, we have uh, other other things like the Lancaster affine transformation to go from MNI space uh, to Talarac. This is a, a somewhat newer version. Uh, and then we have uh, the this 12-piece uh, transformation to go between MNI and, and TTN27 spaces. So I'll just go through here. So now that we've talked about spaces and transforms, we finally get to the, the section about atlases. So atlases are, are kept here, or are defined here. This is how AFNI knows which, which data sets to look at in its where are my functions and on the command line for finding atlases. So uh, here we have uh, one atlas. It has a name, a data set, uh, has a template space associated with that data set, and it has a description and a comment. And I will note here that many of these have, uh, have these comments that include citation information. So when you're using an atlas or a template, the, uh, the authors of these atlases and templates expect to be cited. So I, I recommend that you do that. Uh, that citation information is listed here. Um, some of the atlases have even more citations. So if we take the Eichhoff Zillis uh, uh, atlases, the maximum probability map, or the macro labels, they have uh, 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 citations for the overall atlas and for specific regions. So if you're using uh, any part of this atlas, you have to cite it generally at least twice for the overall atlas and for the those specific regions. And so a lot uh, many different atlases available. Uh, you can see them see them all there. And finally at the end we have uh, a list of the templates that are available to AFNI. Now a template doesn't actually have to be in here. AFNI will find the uh, the template anyway but you can can have it here so you can use some of the conveniences of uh, of where are my defined templates. So that's it for AFNI Atlas spaces.nimmel. I will also say that uh, if you have additional atlases that you want to use, you can store them in, a, in an identical format file called custom atlases.nimmel or session atlases.nimmel. Uh, custom atlases.nimmel is intended uh, to be used globally by all, all of the, the subject for all the subjects you look at. Uh, if you're using session atlases.nimmel, that is automatically read in in the current directory. If you want to use custom atlases, you've got a new uh, atlas you want to use or one that's outside of the default group, then uh, you would set the AFNI sup atlas dir to point to, uh, to that directory. Uh, we'll have another video about using supplemental atlases. Right. So uh, we've seen atlases on the uh, in that this uh, NIML file. We can also look at uh, what atlases are available with where am I, and I can say where am I dash show atlases, um, and it shows me the same list. It shows me a list of the different atlases that are available in a little bit easier to read format. 
I can also do where my dash shows spaces. And this shows me what spaces are defined. And I can do where my show that show templates. And these are what, what templates are available. So a few different ways to look at uh, atlases and spaces and templates. Okay. Now for the demo uh, uh, here of of using atlases inside the AFNI GUI, I'd like to uh, change the from the, change the default atlas inside AFNI to uh, to be a different one. So I'm going to use the MNI Glasser atlas and. I know from from my show atlases uh, command that this this is what it's called, and uh, oh sorry I missed the uh, using the at afni dash set I can set the afni environment variable, so you can set it with the at afni nv or you can just edit your dot uh, afni rc file. If uh, if you if you want to see the .afnirc file, uh, let's let's take a quick look at that. Oops, this is in my home directory. So uh, the the uh, afnirc file starts with afni atlas colors. This is the what well, was just just recently added. Uh, uh, we have some other settings in here. Some other relevant settings. The AFNI template space list is set here. Uh, this is commented out for now, but if you wanted to only look at a specific group of, of spaces, you could do that here. Uh, you may want to set more decimal places. So if you're looking at marmosets or rats or mice, uh, then you want some decimal points usually uh, uh, in the where am I coordinates. And you can also say where where to look for supplemental atlases here. And there are many, many other at, uh, AFNI environment variables that you can look at. 